I, I played 10 years. Uh, he came in the league in, uh, in 71 and I retired in 81 from Montreal. He was the best player in the league for six years. I, I've seen him score so many important goals, but uh, the one that I have in memory, it's, it's, it's the tying goal in the seventh game against Boston in 79. I, I, I can say that that goal gave us an extra Stanley Cup. He used to pick me up at school on weekdays so that he could get the form uh, for 3.30. 345 for 8 o'clock game. Uh, he would, by the time I get undressed and put my trainer's clothes on, he was half dressed and we would play back game for an hour. And he was asking about my school, how was my little hockey career going. <laughs> so that's Guy Lafleur. He, he, he you know, wore his emotion on his sleeve and I would get his shirt away. We'd be meeting at the annual golf tournament and, you know, there's Guy Lafleur. And I was, I'd be sitting in the corner, he'd come in with and made his way out and say, how was doing? And I asked how my daughter is, how's my wife? That's key. That's key. The, the best souvenir I have about him is, is, is how he was kind with the players, his key, his key teammates. You know, I remember the first time I walked into the room when I was draft in 1975. You know, he just talked to me like uh, he was talking to Ivan Kunoyi, who had 10 Stanley Cup right beside him. You know, and that's how he was with everybody, all the teammates. I cannot, uh, I can challenge anybody to find one teammate who did have something with Gila Fleur. No, it's, he was just a very good guy in the dressing room. I find that like a, a day like today, it's uh, like waking up to a bad, a bad dream. Uh, because of the fact that he was just taken from us too soon. Um, but at the same time, um, I realized probably that the, the pain that he was in over the last little while, and nobody should have to live with that pain. I, I watched my brother go through uh, pain at 57 years old, and there was no way that I was going to watch that with, with Guy. Well, I saw him play junior for the Rampart de Quebec, and I, he was spectacular. He was absolutely spectacular. With that, and he was on the he was on the ice, and when he was on the ice, we knew he was a uh, really above all the other athletes. I had the privilege of uh, giving him the Love National du Quebec in 2005, and I remember a man who was very humble and very reserved, very generous. His life after uh, playing hockey was also something very significant. These heroes we have are, are heroes not because of just one moment or in event in their lifetime. But this is a hero because of his whole life. I was lucky as a kid. I got to sit behind the bench, and there was no glass there. Um, and to see him, uh, to see him uh, whipping up the right wing. As a, I was really young, but uh, it, it was impressive. And then uh, I used to stare at them while they were sitting on the bench. And but for me, the, the memories, I, uh, the best memories I have of Guy Lafleur after he retired, uh, spending time with him in the community and watching him interact with people. Since my young years, I watch Guy play in, on the TV. On, in the real, um, and for me, Guy Lafleur is not just a hockey player; he is a human. Okay, a, a perfect example for the world. I'm the daughter of Pat Curran, who was Montreal Gazette reporter for years. And when we were young, we used to get to go to all the games and all the greats. We'd be waiting there while he was doing his story, interviewing them in the locker room. And they all were coming out, to see them all. But I never saw Guy Lafleur that way. I never got to be standing in the hallway when he walked by. I never got that. Well, the story, I love that quote you had in the Gazette saying that he said, I'm not finished till every, I've signed every autograph and I've spoken to every fan. And I think that's so fantastic of him that he did that. And the more, I think it's since he's passed, we're all these wonderful stories about his kindness and his generosity and how wonderful he was to, to people, how he knew important it was.